that it was already decided and it, it, it nowadays when I get something that I've got to decide I, I, I surrender I surrender Well, thank you for that beautiful story. That was that was gorgeous, and uh, it leaves me reflecting on my own uh, depths of surrender as I as I engage life's myriad apparent decisions, uh, and uh, I, I think that the, that it always can can be valuable to deepen into that. Story of how profoundly we co-create, how, how profoundly our, our world is uh, flowing through us and, and how, how often our choices might just be apparent. And yet if I don't feel a sense of responsibility to participate and to, to do my best, to, to act as if my decision had impact and, and bring care to the consequences of my decision, I, I feel less less aligned somehow with with God and with love. That if I can bring love to my choosing and bring bring a care for something greater than myself to my choices and, and choice making, that does feel aligned. Somehow I feel oh that there's a kind of profound both and to this surrender and responsibility. Yeah, I, I think that is surrender and responsibility. Uh, the the story reminds me that our, we're all being taken care of, and it involves our actions. If I hadn't I hadn't decided the on the bus. I would have gotten the ice cream, but I wouldn't have gotten the... Uh, the darshan. The darshan. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of a decoding of our uh, fear-based, mind-based, ego-based decision-making that gets in the way of, of, of a larger flow from yeah. a more heart-based, love-based, uh, co-creative choosing that is our way of letting thy will be done through my own. That's it. That, exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly right. So you, you're, you're counseling then that we bring a, a kind of heartfelt trust and a deep, a deep trust of, of being and of the grace of being to our perception of existence, even as we see apparently uh, terrible mistakes being made that seem like they have consequences in the suffering of many people or even the deaths of many people, so that we, we don't engage on the basis of a presumption of problem and dilemma and, and anxiety and, 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 and bring our, our efforts to make a contribution out of that, that problem consciousness. Yeah, and I... I uh, you there. You said, even death. Now that's a big thing for us, but it isn't a big thing for Maharaji, and it isn't a big thing for my soul, because I've done it as a soul, done many and many and many deaths before, because I. Uh, I I have faith in uh, reincarnation, and therefore, uh, a people whose death 
have been uh, in the, the tsunami, I can still see these these people finishing with, with uh, uh, finishing with one incarnation and working towards another one. And this was this was their method of death in this incarnation. And because there were there were there were many of them we would be we would we'll ring the bell so many souls will go on to the to the next incarnation. You can. I'm just trying to uh, frame the the issue of death. You know, it's interesting. I float through a lot of different environments of uh, uh, cultural agreement, and in some of those environments, this heartfelt uh, trust of the goodness and beauty and, and truth of existence is really up front. But in some of the environments of, of some of the people that feel to me like they, they really are profoundly committed good people who really, are really giving themselves over to something beyond themselves, there's an increasing mood of of upset as, as they see the climate change treaties not getting made and the changes of behaviors and the melting of uh, polar ice caps and all the rest, there's this tremendous sense of we need to rise up with, with a different kind of, of, of choosing. Even um, Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev, who I interviewed earlier in this series, was offering the opinion that unless world leaders who have consequential impact are drawn to a, a, a bigger view, uh, he, he thinks that, that there will be a, a, a kind of pruning of, of, of the human population in a way that, you know, none of us would like to see, I think. And, and, and so this there are some environments of social uh, activists wherein the, a lot of people are, are, are drawing lines of agreement, feeling that we're passing a terrible point of no return and that, and that uh, we, we, a different kind of urgency is, is necessary. And, and I find that in my own heart I'm feeling a sense of joy as I commit myself to being of service to what is greater than myself and, and to maybe coming together with other people of good heart and care in a different level of intimacy and a different level of commitment to what's greater than ourselves. And this does feel spiritual. I, I don't feel that it necessarily has to be rooted in a unenlightened and grim and mind-based and fear-based orientation. That, that, that there is room, perhaps, for some kind of cultural renewal that has some new features that that might be evolving in a, in a way that, that does have some newness, even though the, the fundamental uh, resource that it draws on is eternal and, and has been here forever. I, uh, I, uh, the way the increasing um, the increasing um, um, variance of the, uh, the 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 environment Is a matter we can all feel bad about, but I can often see 
that it is waking up to people to to um, to do something and and good people are Oh boy, this is hard to say. That uh, good people are getting are getting depressed because their goodness is 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 not doing anything because. Every time I think of good and bad, the two are 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 under the one, and the one is taking the the dark and light and bringing about change and we are very frightened of change death being the change that a death that is most frightening and I I Maybe we are going to uh, a, a new uh, a new type of um, world um, when the ice age. I mean, when we when we. Uh, the, 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 the warming comes down. I don't mean to be there's, there's a, a place where you uh, surrender and you act and you act out of goodness and act out of you know, caring I'm a follower of Hanuman Hanuman is the um, is a monkey. He's a um, he's a symbol of of um, uh, service as a as uh, as a way of being with God. And um, There's a great line, lines, whose Ram is God, and uh, Ram says to Hanuman, um, "Who are you, monkey?" And when Hanuman answers, um, "When I don't know who I am." I serve you when I don't do do who I am I I am you to 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 
two perceptions. And I think if we if we uh, do our roles in life and do them dharmically, we will play our part to serving God and serving our, our world. So, when we don't know who we are, we serve God, and maybe in the form of one another, and the world, and even the climate, or the environment, or other justice, or compassion, in whatever ways. That's the right. And when we do know who we are, we stand in that freedom and probably still serve. Maybe the activities are <laughs> yeah. no different. Yes, maybe the same thing. Yeah. So this, this isn't really so much a, then a, a contradiction of the impulse to activism, but, but a profound reminder that to the degree that we get drawn into the mood of problem or dilemma, if we are in an urgency that is anxiety-based rather than fundamentally born of, of, of that darshan, of, of, the of, of, it, of, of love, of love, of love, yeah. I can, I can, I can love my fellow human beings and yet uh, I will do do my part to make sure terrorists don't go to terrorize people. Pressing me to see more clearly. My love is pressing me to, to 
care and to find a way to make a difference in this very, very confusingly complex situation. How, how can I love here? How can I make a contribution here that matters? That, that even staying in that loving disposition, I'm, I'm pressing into the complexity nonetheless. Yeah. I, um, you know, <clears throat> Boy, that that seems like a response that a mind would make not a heart a heart will say I look out at the trees and I think that is a complex thing and I w love the tree and I will be loving with the tree but I I don't understand all the treeness treeness and when I do love that tree I will become that tree and then will subjectively know that tree but not Objectively, I'm making yes yeah. a sympathetic identification that's felt. Yeah, yeah. You know, it seems to me that the mind, <clears throat> the mind is a, it's a city, uh, it's a, um, a power we have. And I think we often, often, We, we, we play with the city, we play the city. And it's, and, and become, become distracted from yeah. the beloved by the of our mind. That's exactly right. And I, I, um, I'm, for, as, as, as a soul, I am loving awareness and I can I I'm aware my the river of thoughts come out of my mind and in the past I used to identify with my thoughts now I merely notice them and notice them ah that one's coming out of fear. Ah, that's and I'll 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 love them each one, even their even their their fearful ones. Mm. Ha ha. <laughs> so that in a way this uh this whole process of uh, of the 
speeding up of, of people's lives and attention with the constant interruptions that are part of the pace of 21st century living yeah. is, uh, is tending to feed that distraction and uh, maybe make it more apparent. Maybe, maybe, there's, maybe there's something maybe. being served. Maybe. 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 We're, we're, we're a, we're a, we're in a mind um, environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, you and I both know that the loving heart of, of, of spirit is not something to be to be using words about and that's what I do I try to t try to true to s explain those things and I know how uh, futile th that is except that it, it points uh, the way points the way and I'd rather live in the in the in the um, loving uh, um, void than in the complexity and I am both I am both of them I'm, I'm in both of them I'm in both right. So it's a it's a choice then in each moment to notice the that open hearted immediacy that is yeah. before us yes. the, the beloved. Yes. That that is to, to, to really it, it, it's the difference between Seeing that one and knowing about the fact of that one. Yeah. Being here with you, beloved. Seeing you, beloved, here, now, before that's, me. That's it. Thank you. Touched <laughs> by you. Seeing you, grateful. Yeah. Dropping anything that would distract me from your gorgeous eyes. Yeah, and then, ah, oh, I, I like to live in the yum, 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 yum world. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh her uh, hiding my head from uh, the things of the world I think that I can contribute love and and peace well, like I, I I think of the the these um, sadhus in the mountains, in the Himalayas, and they don't, they never leave their cave. And they're, they are contributing to the, to the vibration, the, 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 the vibration of the world. Just as much as Obama is. Turning us again and again more persistently, first, last, always, top to bottom, beginning to end, to love, to 
to, to, to relaxing whatever it is that clenches that heart or distracts that heart. Or That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, it's 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 gorgeous to uh, to be here in this space with you and in the one we we am seeing, <laughs> seeing himself <laughs> in these in these yeah. glittering, sparking moments between birth and death that keep rearising <laughs> in the <laughs> laughter. <laughs> I was uh, in the in now that I'm I'm old. Um, I I I the, the concept contentment contentment is very much with me contentment and. I was just last week um, with a, con a con contemporary who's he, he he's a year a year he was born a year after me is Dan Ellsberg. Oh yeah, and I was I was afraid to to speak about contentment because he 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 views the world. A, a scary world, scary world, and we've got to do something. And I don't think my contentment fills the bill. An uncle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there, there's something to be learned about how you're feeling it, and, and it sounds like there's a there's a way that those right turns put a kind of money in the contentment bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, part of what I, I, I am hoping that I'm serving through this series and other work that I do is a continued renewal and evolution of and deepening and, and, and broadening of, of spiritual practice. And the process of, the, of, of spiritual practice itself evolving, you know, is a yes. big focus of this conversation. 
Yeah. And you, really, in a very unique way, just completely different from anybody else on the series, you personally participated in in that cultural transformation of the 